guys, SV Valiant here. Last day in the mooring field at Marina Jack. It's our last night. We've been working the last week to get everything together, cleaning the boat, getting her ready, packing, and we are now ready to go. We are gonna go tomorrow, but hey, we're done, and there's four hours of sunlight. Yeah, we've been here. Maybe like two. Yeah, about two hours left. <laughs> we've been here for over a year. We're so ready to move on. a little bit longer than we wanted to. We weren't planning on being here a year, but hey, now we're moving on to the next chapter in life, which is Hello Colorado. Hopefully make a lot of money there. Come back next sailing season and head towards the Bahamas. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and take our boat a little bit north to Palmetto and store the boat on land, on the hard. We're gonna take the long way back to Colorado, then work hard for a few months and then come back to Florida and Go to the Bahamas. Yeah, great plan. All right, let's See go. See you along the way. All right, let's start this motor and break off this mooring ball leash. Well, if the motor starts, then I yeah, guess. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, we have battery problems, so we'll see if the motor can even start. All right, let's do this. All right, let's go ahead and see if this thing's gonna start. Unleash us, Connie. <laughs> okay, we're officially off the ball. Drifting, we better get in the cockpit and get our trip started. Sarasota. We're now in Sarasota Bay. We left like an hour before dark. So we're motor sailing to our first little anchorage at the top of Sarasota Bay. Um, looks like we'll be sailing in the dark here in about 20 minutes. So it's about three in the morning. We ended up anchoring for the night off of Lido Key. It was nice and calm, nice and peaceful. We went right to bed and fell right asleep and we woke up to a squall. I noticed our dinghy was like sideways next to our boat. It looked funny. We turned on the depth sounder and there we noticed that we grounded. Hopefully the anchor will hold as the tide rises so we can get ourselves out. Otherwise we'll have a uh, hefty Cito bill tomorrow. So right now we're just rocking around on the keel and it just feels horrible, but should be better in a couple hours. and our water exit 
not spitting water out. And after running out of gas, having to anchor in the ICW to get um, more gas, we finally made it. It's been quite crazy, but we finally made it to the anchorage um, right outside the boat storage. So we're gonna stay the night here. Hopefully we don't slip. And in the morning, we're gonna get hauled out. So we went to it's this- It's a lightning whelk. Oh, nice. Not a very, you know, together one, but a lightning whelk. It opens up to the left. So we went to this park right by, and we're spending the evening here. Soaking it in, because we won't be doing this for another four months. Taking everything off for hurricane season now that we finally docked. We haven't been, had this boat docked in probably about, I, I don't know, I'd say uh, about 14, 15 months. Yep, we've not been, since Mar like February 26th. 2016. Yep, we've either been on a mooring ball or anchored out for this long. So it feels so weird to have land or I guess access to land right here. It's kind of a bittersweet day. The bitter part is that we have to take down all this stuff like the lifesaver equipment because we're not going to be sailing. I don't know how I don't know how I can do it. We can't be on the boat for 3 to 4 months. This is going to be horrible. 